Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Those of you that are joining us here on live stream as well, last minute, uh, so we were not able to get the cameras set up as of yet in here, as well as those that will be joining us here on YouTube just a little bit later after this broadcast does air. Now, uh, I've been getting some confidential information. I cannot share that with you as of yet, but uh, there has been a lot of concern about uh, a possible ground invasion already underway in Ukraine by Russian forces. Now, uh, we have contacts in Ukraine. We have not been able to verify independently that any such uh, uh, attack has already begun. Uh, but we have been able to find different articles already out there that have stated that Russia does have a very large uh, group of uh, military on its border with Ukraine, including tanks. Now, that's in Ukrainian news sources. But as we have continued to uh, look at the different things that are going on here, I wanted to share with you. This is one source here. We posted this on our Facebook, on Israeli News Live on Facebook. Uh, let me take you to this. This is a Russian newspaper right here. Uh, this is R-I-A-F-A-N dot R-U. Now, the, the headline of this title here is that, the, that NATO, H-T-O is NATO uh, in the Russian language there, that they have gotten brave enough to, to prepare for an all-out attack on Russia. Okay, now let's just take and let's let me take you quickly. I'm going to use Google Translate on some of these here. Uh, that's the article right there. If you can see it on the screen there, I don't know how well you guys can see that on your screen there, but uh, let me see if I can blow this up any just so that those of you that are watching there uh, on either live stream or on YouTube, you can see the screen here. Um, the HTO right here, what looks like an English HTO, that is NATO in Russian right there. Uh, this one, sometimes they allow me to translate them, sometimes they don't. Uh, I've had Yana uh, all afternoon here looking through the different articles to see what's going on. Again, NATO is preparing for a decisive battle uh, as this particular... Uh, uh, oh, this was a different one. Gosh, I didn't even see this one here, guys. What can Russia oppose? A new concept of development of North Atlantic Alliance. says NATO is preparing to adopt a new concept of development. It involves improving the, uh, the efficiency of rapid reaction forces and reinforcement of collective defense. According to Common, uh, uh, Comor Sant, the new strategy has got into the agenda of the meeting of Brussels and the foreign ministers of the states, parties of the alliances, as I mentioned earlier, NATO Secretary General Anders uh, Folk Ramesson, the organization has learned from history of the accession of Crimea to Russia and current events in Ukraine. Okay, now that's not the one I'm actually looking for, though. Let me find the other one here. Here we go. This is the one I wanted right here from Ryafan. Ryafan.ru.ru is a Russian-based newspaper, uh, uh, online news source here, Federal News Agency uh, is the name of it. It says NATO overcame their fears and preparing to attack Russia. This is Russian news. Now, I've already seen this already. We brought this out on the uh, Israeli News Live on our YouTube channel recently. Uh, credible news sources in Russia that clearly are stating that they know the United States is about to lead the way in an attack against Russia. Uh, again, I know that we've gotten, I've had two sources send me already that DEFCON, the United States DEFCON is at, at uh, code yellow. Yellow, by the way, friends, uh, I want to thank Brother Conrad for sending that to me there. Uh, let me just see real quick here. This is the one Brother Conrad sent me just to share that with you. We are at level three, a yellow alert. It says this is a DEFCON warning system alert status for 9.43 p.m., Sunday, June 19th, 2016, condition code yellow is DEFCON 3. There are currently no imminent nuclear threats against the United States at this time. However, the situation is considered fluid and can change rapidly. That's why we are under a yellow alert status in the United States right now. There's two reasons for that. One, there's that reason because as those of you that may not be aware of, that the, uh, that the North Koreans have moved a ballistic missiles to their east coast. Now, these are supposed to be short-range missiles, 
uh, that, that they did this with, but they did move missiles to the coast. Uh, that's right here. North Korean uh, Mus Musdan launch puts Seoul, Tokyo on alert because of the nuclear missiles that they have put on their eastern border there, which easily could hit U.S. bases. And Pyongyang has already stated that they're going to target U.S. naval and military installations. So if they go to sending out nuclear warheads, boy, they're going to do some serious damage nonetheless. So, uh, but we've got the yellow DEFCON on the U.S. soil. Let's see why, though. Let's take a look at this article right here. Now, this article, friends, is, was published here uh, on, uh, it's in Russian, June the 5th of 2016. All right, now, let's, let me take you to that, though, so I can get it for you here in English. Um, and let me blow it up on the screen. I want you guys to be able to see this really good, the best that I can get you guys to see it in. Uh, again, NATO overcame their fears in preparing to attack Russia is what the article is stating here. Um, let me see if I can find a way. Gosh, guys, I'm going to probably have to lower the size of this down so you can see it because it's not allowing me to move the header up in the video or in the uh, news article here. He says, so what many uh, have said already confirmed at the official level, the North Atlantic Alliance is preparing to inflict a crushing blow to the Russian Federation. Are we once again stand on the threshold of a new bloody war? Against this background, a great concern is the initiative of the German and Russian translation of partner in the category of rival. Federal news agency correspondent talked to an expert who express their views on this issue. As Deputy Chairman of the Federation Council Committee uh, on Defense and Security, Klintsvek Franz, today Russia needs to follow the activity of NATO on its borders. According to him, the North Atlantic Alliance is currently preparing a springboard for a global impact on Russia. This is the federal news agency, a Russian back news agency with a German, a German here, uh, who, uh, and that's Franz, he's a German, he is, the, he is a uh, deputy chairman of the Federation Council Committee on Defense and Security, meet Klitz uh, Weich Franz, Today, Russia needs to follow the activity of NATO on its border. According to him, the North Atlantic Alliance is currently preparing a springboard for a global impact on Russia. That is, Germans warning the Russians that they're about to be attacked. Okay, According to Klinsvek, NATO troops have a huge number of plans as part of their concept of global impact. He stressed that the alliance restores Soviet military bases on the territory of Romania, Poland, and the Baltic states, placing people there. The number of NATO troops in this, these areas has increased by 19 times their size of what they've got going on there, guys. I mean, we're, this is serious. The political scientists, experts of the development, civil society institutions, people's diplomacy, uh, uh, Kirev, in comments, fan expressed a view that concerns of Russians and Russian government justified. We see that the uh, tectonic shifts taking place, tectonic shifts, they're liking this into an earthquake uh, in the political and um, uh, managerial community of Western Europe and the United States. They identify their enemy and its development strategy which takes into account the prevailing crisis in the U.S. in general in the Western world and out of this crisis. They demonstrate by their behavior. Guys, I know you may be having a hard time on live stream, so let me, I'm going to back this down just a little bit here. Uh, maybe you guys are not having a hard time because I forget I'm running this off the phone today. So, but let me just back down some of the issues here. Um, I'm afraid to take anything off. There's too many good things that we have on here. Uh, any, anyway, though, they are prepared there. Uh, this is what they're saying that, that, that they're worried about. Now, we're, we have been getting in unconfirmed reports that there is a possibility that Russia has actually started a ground assault on Ukraine. Now, this could be coming out as well as, uh, and, and not to say that Russia hasn't already started this, but we're seeing now for several days here, uh, Russia is 
fully under the expectation of an attack, an imminent attack upon itself. Here is another one here. Now, uh, this here, again, this one is on another Russian news source here, uh, Ruspravda.info, uh, uh, and as you can see, it's, it's clearly as, as all in Russian here. You have to understand, some Russian sources are not from Russia. I am very cautious in what we find out there because the U.S., just like Russia, Russia has RT News. RT News uh, expresses the interest of Russia in mind. So when they are putting out news for the United States, yes, there's going to be propaganda in it. You know, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a full backer of Russia. I'm a backer of peace, and I stand for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. That's who I stand for. That's the side I'm on here. But I need to let you guys know what's going down, what's happening here, so you can realize the things that are going on. But now, this one again. Uh, it allows you to translate it. My wife, we've already been looking at these here. This one here is today's news. USA are very eager to attack Russia, but scary, he writes here in the article. U.S. experts, U.S. preparing its nuclear forces to sudden hit Russia. U.S. nuclear forces are preparing for a conflict with Russia. It characterizes Washington's plans for an American expert on international security issues, MIT Professor Theodore Postal in the Weekly Nation. According to the professor, the plan is worth a trillion dollars for up to several decades, aims to prepare U.S. nuclear weapons to a direct military confrontation with Russia. As Postal believes, uh, theorists in Washington are convinced that the United States will be able to win in this conflict uh, to do this, in the coming year, states plans to increase the accuracy of warheads and intercontinental ballistic missiles and increases the power of their changes. Now, that, friends, is, is uh, not as imminent as what we have seen in some of these other articles. Uh, the, the other article that we were showing here, the Germans are expecting a pretty much imminent attack. Now, I also... Uh, was given another one. Let me just look at some of these other articles here. Um, they, of course, they're Russian language, but let me just quickly look here for you on this one here. Uh, the U.S. is preparing to attack Russia again. Another one, U.S. missile defense is designed to attack Russia. Now, this article here, this goes into the U.S. putting uh, together the defensive plan uh, there in Romania. And Russia already uh, believes and knows that it can be easily converted into a launching pad as well. Uh, so it's a little bit different there. Uh, but like I said, there's just a lot of serious talk out there. Um, right now, we know that the North Korean uh, air base is there. That's one of the main concerns going on. And, uh, and, and this is what we have found thus far. I'm just searching it. My wife is searching it. My father-in-law uh, looking in the different languages that we know here as well as trying to reach people on the ground that we know, uh, including those in right there in Russia as well. Uh, I've got one friend there that I'm trying to get in touch with as well to find out if he knows he has. He has a friend of his that was part of the inside circle of Putin at one time. So we're trying to get any, any kind of information that we can to get out there to you. We're working on that, and we'll get that as just as quickly as we possibly can uh, if we find out any further developments. As far as Eastern Europe right now that we are aware of, everything seems to be fairly quiet right here, but we know that it is a volatile situation, even as a German uh, uh, expert was saying there about Russia that NATO, all they have to do is watch NATO is planning an attack. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live both here on YouTube and as well on live stream. You're catching the broadcast live. Shalom and good evening.